I'm quite a morbid person. So a lot of the things that I find very interesting, I find interesting because they're fucking terrifying. Like, I've watched so many documentaries about serial killers. My favorite animal is a shark. My favorite periods in history are the ones where lots of people died very brutally. There's a bit of a pattern emerging here. I need to get a thing. If you want an outfit of the day, I'm wearing an Oh She She'll Twas a Dream Jake and Amir t-shirt and these pajama pants from Kmart. They got pugs in tutus on them and it says tutu cute, $10 well spent. I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, if you're like, why is everything such a shambles? It's because Neon Fiona of Neon Fiona fame decided to cover some boxes in fucking wrapping paper or some shit the other day and hasn't cleaned up yet. So it's literally whatever. Back to this. So for my birthday, my lovely friends. Um, I'm sorry, are you insulting the boxes that Fiona Falcon has created? Um, I'm insulting the shit that you haven't cleaned up. Oh my god! I what? I hit the lamp and I thought it was your leg. I thought you'd moved really fast over here without me noticing. Oh yeah, I do need to clean up. I'm very sorry. Sorry, Mental Fan. Sorry for ruining the aesthetic of this beautiful, well planned video. I'm really sorry, Fanzors. Um, if you want to join the hate comments going on my videos right now, you can feel free to come along. Sorry, we don't do social commentary here, so like you can fuck back off. Whoa! Yeah. Hmm. Whoa! Um, and stop eavesdropping on my videos, because you know I can't film when you're listening. <laughs> it's just like, it's very selective hearing, like I just, I hear you say my boxes, and I'm like, well, I gotta defend that shit. Back to me. <laughs> I see where they were coming from, they're like, Maddie loves sharks, let's give Maddie sharks. But, Sarah at least, who spearheaded this operation, I know for a fact that you know that I'm terrified of sharks. So they would be like, yeah, this looks like a really lovely present, but they were pissing themselves because they know how scared I am of sharks. Am I going to do this? Probably, because I feel like it would be a waste if I didn't. I have this quiz game thing on my, oh, Bakery Town. By the way, if you have Bakery Town, add me on it. It's Madzors and also just Madzors, not It's Madzors. And I've gotten back into Heyday, which is really bad because if you've watched the boyfriend tag that I did with Patrick in like 2012 or two, last year, um, there's a bit you may have picked up on where we mentioned the fact that I spent $300 on diamonds on Heyday and then stopped playing Heyday, but I'm back into it now, but I'm not going to let myself buy diamonds. I already bought $2.50 worth of diamonds, but that's as many diamonds as I'm allowed to buy. If you can add a person on Heyday, I don't know, hit me up, I guess. My farm is called Big Pimp and Shag Shack. For one of the breeds of sharks, either zebra sharks or tiger sharks, one of the ones that doesn't actually look stripy when it should, I'm pretty sure it's called that because when they're babies they have stripes and then they turn into spots. Don't name something after what it's like when it's a baby. I know we do that for humans, but when you name a human child, you think ahead. You think, if I name my kid, like, squishy cute face Jackson, It'll be fine when he's a squishy, cute face baby. But when he's trying to get a marketing job in 20 years time, it might hold him back. So all I ask is that we afford the same courtesy to sharks and not name them after their infantile stage. And in fact, take into account the pattern that they will be wearing for their adult lives. Cause sharks live for a really long time. Ew, and they look so wrinkly as well. Like I feel like sharks, they're the kind of I was gonna say the kind of people who have really good skincare routines because they're just very, like, slick. But then occasionally you'll come across the kind of shark who has skin that's just puckery. Now, oh my god, that goblin shark's face is terrifying. It looks like, it does look like a gob, that's a well-named shark. I have this ongoing internal struggle of trying to figure out what my favorite, um, shark really is. Because, like, I do think a lot of the time that it is the great white. But that's a very obvious answer, you know what I mean? Like, that's just like the one that looks coolest when it kills stuff and the scariest looking one. But like, is it nuanced enough? Is there enough complexity to the Carcharodon Carcarius for it to truly earn the right to be my favorite? I really like tiger sharks. I think tiger sharks have the cutest faces. Like they've got these big eyes 
and their little mouth is always like what like they're really cute look how cute that tiger shark is my facebook cover photos were always um sharks until i took a really good selfie at the coliseum well it's a photo of me taking a selfie at the coliseum it's called the Colo selfie it's amazing like hardcore amazing it's now my twitter banner so you can go check that out if you want fun fact that most of you probably already know but just to reiterate sharks don't like eating people we taste terrible despite the fact that cannibals say we taste like pork maybe sharks just don't like pork but we're not super tasty there's not a lot of meat on here so most of the time if people get attacked by sharks the reason that they don't get fully eaten they'll just have like a really bad wound the reason people die mainly from shark attacks is because it severs an artery and they bleed to death because the shark is taking an exploration bite to find out what it is because you're in its territory also if you ever encounter a shark don't fucking thrash around because that's when you look like a wounded fish or an injured seal and that's when it will attack you so if you ever see a shark in the water god forbid that is my nightmare move very fluidly don't flail don't make sudden movements sharks aren't evil they don't want to eat you if they see that you look like wounded prey they're gonna be like i guess this is easy then they'll attack you so don't be a fucking idiot. I'm pretty sure that bull sharks have the highest concentration of testosterone in the animal kingdom, and that's why they're very aggressive, they're very territorial. Not only are they very aggressive, but they are one of the only sharks that can live in both saltwater and freshwater. Bull sharks have been found over 2,000 miles up the Amazon River. They can live in freshwater for like over two years, so you're not safe in rivers. You're not even safe in lakes. I saw an episode of River Monsters where a horse got killed by a bull shark in a lake because at one point there had been a flood and water from a river made its way into a lake and water from the river contained a bull shark or several. Don't swim in rivers is what I'm saying. I wouldn't swim in a river. I wouldn't swim in a lake. I have swum in rivers and lakes in the past, but that was because I was young and stupid. And now I've seen every episode of River Monsters and there's no amount of money. There is an amount of money you could pay me to get into a river or be anything over a hundred grand, but <laughs> just for shits and gigs, I would not put my body inside a river. There's a whole show called River Monsters. It's got like six seasons so far yeah bull sharks are assholes bull sharks will attack you just for fun because of the testosterone and them just being jerks um and they have like really tiny beady eyes and that's how you know they're like dickheads why one direction don't all hang out together anymore like they used to genuinely do that and it was usually just zane they didn't hang out with them but now they take separate planes and stuff and that really worries me also the kind of karma you're inviting the energy you're putting out into the universe by naming your album four when there are five of you that makes me uncomfortable i'm more concerned about that than being attacked by a shark something that i'm more worried about than getting attacked by a shark is the fact that we are killing all the sharks because if you do any level of research you'll find out that if we kill the sharks then all the freaky fish that the sharks are keeping in check they come and fuck shit up there's lots of really terrifying squids and stuff um that are very aggressive like the humboldt squid they are killing all of everything because we're killing the sharks so let's not kill the sharks because they're an important part of the ecosystem and they kill all the things that are in fact a lot scarier than sharks yeah there was an episode of river monsters where all of these fish that normally sharks would eat were getting really big because there weren't sharks there to eat them and so then there were just all these really freaky giant fish that were getting a lot bigger than nature ever intended and they were killing lots of people. And I would rather hang out with a shark than with one of those fish because they were really weird looking. Mega mouth sharks look like they were carved out of a potato and then left out on a bench for like six days. Do we need to be scared of hammerheads? Because I don't feel like a hammerhead could really hurt a human. And I don't see them having that want within their souls, you know? Sharks are nice people. Apart from bull sharks, bull sharks are assholes. That, that, I will give you that. If there's a shark attack, it's probably a bull shark. Because they're the assholes of the sea, slash of rivers and canals, and sometimes lakes. Do not ever, 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 ever go swimming at sunrise or sunset. Dusk and dawn are when sharks feed. If you get attacked by a shark, because you went swimming at dusk or dawn, 
I won't feel bad for you because you're a fucking idiot and I told you not to do that. So.